what's going on it's talks with TRB and um, one of the things that I noticed that a lot of uh, women say on YouTube is or ask on YouTube is why are black men so aggressive why are we so quick to fight bus rebuttal degrade why are we so quick to jump to the defensive and why are we so quick to attack somebody that we feel is putting us down or or belittling us as a man first off the reason why we're so aggressive is because we're taught to be aggressive we're not taught to show emotions such as sensitive or crying or worry or stress we're taught to show power that's what our women want that's what society wants that's what our friends family want and we are a product of our our society we're a product of our neighborhood and the reason why we're so aggressive because we have to be that's how we feel we feel like in order to show what a man is we have to stand tall and we have to knock down doors and we have to we have to be go get it we got to go get it by any means necessary we got to go get it and sometimes you have to be aggressive when it comes to whatever it is that you want to get you have to you have to attack and dismiss anybody that's in your way to get whatever it is that you want so we're naturally aggressive because that's what that's how we were raised that's what we were told a man is a man is not supposed to cry a man is not supposed to show affection and emotions a man is supposed to be hard tough that's what manliness means in our neighborhood you know you got to be able to to defend whomever you got to be able to fight you have to be able to let people know that you are not the one to be fucked with and that is what we're taught growing up now people have their different views on 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 black men and aggression some people say the aggression is good because whatever it is that we believe in we believe in wholeheartedly and you are not going to change that or whatever it is that we want to do we're going to do it and you're not going to stop that but when you are somebody who shows what's considered weakness in the hood <coughs> or in the neighborhood that you grow up in you are labeled as that you are seen you are looked at as less than you are not looked at as a protector you're looked at as a pussy plain and simple <laughs> so we are aggressive because that's the way that we talk we're taught to be aggressive we're taught you know I mean and they say like why are black people so loud it's because we are used to being around people that are loud we express ourselves, and when we do get excited our voices get high you know and we get loud and that's why black people are loud that's a that's a way of showing or getting your point across when you're dealing with people that's loud <laughs> so we got to get louder than them we got to be more aggressive than them we have to be uh, stronger than them we have to be harder than them we have to be more gangster than them that's just what we're taught and how we're raised think about it when you see a little boy crying what does his parents tell him what are you crying for stop being a punk stop being a pussy you a man are you a man yes I'm a man just stop crying men don't cry we don't show emotion that's why we die early <laughs> that's why we die early because we keep a lot of shit bottled up and then when we do show emotions women hit us with shit like oh that's his true colors like anger is the only way to show a true our true colors is by being aggressive and angry oh now he's showing his true colors despite all the things you ever did as soon as you get aggressive and start snapping now he's showing his true colors or you will get this when you do start showing emotion because you're passionate about something or something is bothering you or hurting you you know you get people to say why are you being so sensitive why what do you mean big country that's what they say that's what I've been told when I do start to show emotion 
such as sympathy or sad or confusion or passion, why are you being so sensitive? When I feel like that shouldn't be something that we should have to deal with. If you have an emotion that you want to express, you should be able to express it though. Because we cannot express it, we don't, and we're not trained on how to express it, and we don't understand the emotion that we're having because it was never pointed out, oh, you're depressed, or you're feeling this way. You don't, we don't get the, the we don't have the people to tell us this is that type of emotion and this is why you're feeling that emotion. And we keep it bottled up and now instead of it turning to a particular emotion that could be that can come and go, it turns into aggression and we get angry, get frustrated because we're confused on how to deal with the emotions that we have that were not accepted in the in the lifestyle that we grew up in. So next time a man starts to get emotional about something, let him get it out. Whatever it is, let him get it out and try to understand what it is that made that man feel a certain way and help him to understand why he feels that way. What is this feeling? What is it? Because you're not going to get that at home. At home, you you feel a certain way about something. You're sensitive. You're a punk. You're a pussy. Stop crying like a little bitch. That's what we get. And therefore, we don't understand how to deal with the emotion. The only emotion that we really know how to get out is aggression and anger and frustration and all those emotions anger, frustration, turns into hostility. If I even use that in a proper context, but uh, it turns into <clears throat> it turns into aggression because we don't know how to deal with or handle the emotions that we're feeling. In. And it's all because of the way that we're raised. So you ask, <clears throat> you ask us why we're so aggressive, it's because we don't properly understand the emotions that we are feeling, and we don't know how to deal with the emotions that we're having and the only way that we know how to bottle them up push them to the side is by using aggression to get them out but here's the thing even when we try to get them out and we, even when we try to speak about them, it turns into it, it turns into aggression because we're frustrated with whatever situation is going on and we cannot understand how to process that emotion simple as that now you're like oh that don't make sense think about it think about it if we understood how to deal with life and emotions and, and different situations that come along we, we wouldn't be looked at as aggressive but then again, if we did start to cry and worry, become sensitive, we will get looked at, talked at, talked about, put down, shunned, pushed to the side. I mean, it is what it is. It is what it is. Anyway, it's the right brother. Talk to TRB. Hopefully get the, the gist of what I'm saying. Might have to go into his way station. I'll holler at you. Peace.